Hi everybody, this is Lena here, uh, here with this week's weekly update. It is February 19th and we are uh, almost two months through the year. It's crazy how time is just flying by. Uh, again, this week was probably, I would say, very rough. I feel like I say that every week, that the week was rough and it just, every week is rough. Um, I think I mentioned before in one of the other videos that you know, this is building building the uh, software and getting Wordbotic out of beta and just building the business is probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to build, ever. And uh, there's just challenges coming at me in every direction. And this week, probably what I've thought about most just in relation to those challenges is just how, I mean, for the most part, my team is working really great. I have a lot of great people on my team. I think, you know, th a lot of times people will say, you know, doing business with your friends or family, you end up just running into different challenges with that. And I definitely feel like I've been experiencing those challenges this week, probably more than the previous ones. And maybe that will pass, maybe it won't, I'm not sure. But it definitely has had me thinking of the roles that people that are close to me play in my business and whether it's healthy for those people to be involved in the roles that they are in in their business while still having the same role or some or, or role in my personal life um you know it ends up just being where you know that people talk to you in a different way than they would when they have a personal relationship with you versus it being just a purely professional relationship um you know and then on the other hand it's almost like i need some of these people to be helping me because they are um, helping me kind of in an unconventional way, a way that is just more difficult than, you know, just finding somebody just off the street to come and pitch in. Um, you know, there's an investment of time. I talked about that in some of the prior videos that goes into training people and uh, the core people that I have that are very well trained in the software and some of the other uh, aspects of the things that I do, um, that that investment that I made in those people, it's it's sometimes difficult to figure out whether whether I should move on from that or if I should keep it going. It's a lot of decisions to make, and you know, I just feel like there's just challenges, like I said, coming at me in every direction, and it gets really difficult sometimes um, responding to everything in a manner that will just get things resolved in the way that I want, just because there's so many things happening at the same time. We had some uh, medical challenges this week too with my daughter. Uh, she, uh, a handful of medical challenges. I mean, we already were dealing with a surgery coming up on her hand and a dental situation that's really cryptic that we're trying to figure out what the best thing to do is. Then on top of that, we found out that um, she's losing her vision in one of her eyes, uh, and that you know she has an eye that's sort of irregular, and it was it did have vision up until you know the last time we went to her uh, eye doctor, and then we find out that I guess after some tests we find out her eye is functional. It's just her brain is shutting that eye down. So there's a possibility we could bring the vision back through a um, just a very vigilant routine of patching which is difficult because you know she's sometimes resistive to it sometimes she's okay with it it's very difficult because when she has a patch on she can't really sh see she has a very limited uh, scope of vision when she has the patch on but the theory is the more she has the patch on her brain is gonna then turn that eye back on um, so we're doing that for a month and then going to revisit and see where she's at and what the improvements are. Um, so, is you know between the the medical challenges, I have probably like three or four different major medical challenges that I'm sort of trying to decipher and make a decision on what I should do uh, with with her healthcare and all the challenges with the business. It's, it's very difficult and. I just, you know, try to take each week as it comes 
and then break the week down into days and take each day as it comes. And I have a rough plan. The plan that I have, um, it makes sense. And I feel like, you know, we that I, I see the light at the end of the tunnel on a lot of days. And then other days are just so difficult. <laughs> and it's, I guess the important thing is just persevering and keep going and not stopping. I mean, we've gotten this far, you can get this far to just turn around and go home. So um, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm really excited about uh, MetaMaster, which we have coming out. MetaMaster is a um, style of book that's based off of metaphors and similes. So like, for example, why mothers are like flowers or why children are like butterflies or why uh, farts are like rainbows. I mean, you know, it, it, it's endless. Um, why Republicans are like gods. I'm not trying to make a political statement. You could say why Democrats are like saviors. Um, you know, it, you can write about anything and it's really, really easy. It's a, just a series of a handful of questions and it creates this beautiful typography book based on the way that you answer the questions. So I'm really excited about that. I have to say that it's really amazing how, you know, it feels, to me it feels like as a, as a person who's an innovator, as an artist, I feel like when things are difficult, my creative juices are like flowing the most. And I feel like last year, last year, I mean, things were difficult too. I was building our backend system as I had shared with you in our previous updates. Um, but it really is, I, I didn't make anything new last year in terms of new innovations. And this year, I've made so many new things and I'm just really thankful that that's there because it allows me to create different uh, new new things that I'm able to bring to my uh, closest followers. I'm not actively promoting some of the things that I'm making right now. I probably will at a later point in time. Right now I'm just focusing on innovating and making the products the best that they can be and sharing them with my immediate followers. And I've had some, you know, people contact me and ask me why I keep coming out with new things. Why, uh, why aren't I coming out with new stuff on Wordbotic? And I had shared, you know, the Word Wordbotic is in progress. I have a lot of things that I'm working on, and it is coming. I think one of the biggest challenges that comes with a company like mine, a technology company that is rooted in innovations. Um, you know, a lot of times a company, a tech company, may have venture capital or may have just tens of thousands of dollars of backing or hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars coming from a source. I don't have that. You know, I'm basically building my company from ground zero. I didn't have any support whatsoever uh, starting. I started from nothing. And granted, I have people that are helping me along the way. Uh, but not in the sense that the typical technology companies have. You know, when I say people are helping me along the way, you know, helping me with, you know, some bills or helping me with, you know, just feeding me a little bit of capital to get me through like the next couple weeks and then, you know, I pay them back when I pay them back. Um, I've had that sort of help, but it's really been sort of really parallel to the paycheck to paycheck type of scenario. It becomes very difficult. And my innovations have been my source of the seed capital that goes into Wordbotic or goes into the production that needs to happen. Um, there isn't any revenues that will come in from Wordbotic until much later, until I get to 1.0. But the time and the energy and the resources that need to be fueled into Wordbotic has to come from somewhere. And that's why I'm just really thankful that I have such synergy with my creative juices because there are times where I just don't know. I have no idea what to make. And from January to now, I have a list of things. I mean, you know, I just came out with Memoir Master. I love Memoir Master. I mean, it is, it totally streamlines the process of writing memoirs and I've had people use it on my team that never thought that they could write a book and paragraph by paragraph, they wrote a really good book. I know I will use it myself, even though I, I know I, I know how to write a memoir, but it just streamlines the process. And Choice Master, I love Choice Master. What a creative product! I mean, you know, I'm kind of just talking about how creative my products are. My point is that there's a lot of times that I just don't have that creativity, and I will go a year and not have any idea what I could possibly create. 
and right now I'm sort of in a period where I'm able to just kind of like, oh, you know, I can make this or I can make this or I should make this or this would make a great product and people really love this. And it just works out really good timing wise. And it sort of goes along with, you know, like they say that things in the universe happen for a reason and, you know, things kind of line up a certain way because for a reason. And, you know, that's the way that I look at it. I'm just really appreciative of the fact that uh, things are sort of syncing up the way that they are because this big overall plan that I have, it feels like it's possible because of those reasons. So probably by the time you see this video, you'll already know what MetaMaster is. And um, MetaMaster is short for metaphors. Uh, the style of book is completely based on metaphors and I'm really excited about it. I think you guys will be too. As always, any feedback that you have, any comments, questions, concerns, please uh, send them my way. Even if someone on my support team picks it up, it ends up getting shared with me as you, as you have seen. Uh, thank you very much for joining me and I look forward to next week.